Hey guys, this is Jeff, and today we're cooking chicken gyro, gyro, gyro. However, the, however the hell you want to say it, chicken gyro. It sounds stupid when you make it Aussie. All right, right now say the whole thing in Greek. In Greek. Yeah. Um, okay. Kalimera, uh, simera, tapsisume, kotopolo gyro. Close. That was very. Is that all right? Yeah, good. Echotria arhidia. So today, so today we're cooking uh, chicken gyro, chicken gyro, gyro, however you want to say it. Um, sounds silly when you say it, all ossified. Um, we're going to do a tzatziki. Uh, we'll put that together and we're going to put it together on a uh, lovely little platter that you can impress your friends with and, and uh, yada yada. Uh, we're cooking on the Kamado Joe Jotisserie. Uh, you can cook it on any uh, charcoal uh, rotisserie or you could also just cook chicken thighs on your barbecue your Weber grill or whatever it is that you have um, doesn't turn out quite the same without the coal flavor but it can be done you just um, use the same marinade as we're going to use and uh, do it up on your barbecue on it. there goes my paper it's super windy um, first we're going to marinate the uh, the chicken in a spice rub, a little bit of olive oil and we need to let that sit for 24 hours so we'll get that started. Okay so I've got a couple of kilograms of chicken thigh fillet here. Normally I would use skin on but uh, we're in lockdown and I don't have skin on so this is what we're using. Um, the seasoning blend I'll put in the description below but we want to just basically sprinkle that in. Lovely. And if you don't want to crush the fennel yourself in the mortar and pestle, just get your daughter to do it in her pajamas. Right, Bella? Yes. <laughs> What's wrong? Is it hard? Yes. Well, why else do I have children? It's to crush fennel and empty the dishwasher and put the Tupperware away, right? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Where is he? And I've got six cloves of garlic here. And a solid glug of olive oil. Of course. And normally I would use gloves to do this, but I also don't have any. So the only way we're gonna get this done is hands and in we go. So just basically mix, mix, mix. until you have something like that. Beautiful. Okay, let's get the jotisserie fired up. So we've set up the jotisserie for today's cook. And as usual, we have the coals banked to the back, as you can see there. And what we'll do is get that fired up. Okay, chicken time. So I have our skewer here. I've bookended that with a with an onion and what we need to do is grab our marinated chicken and just thread it all on like that so just bit by bit and what we need to think about is how it's going to be at the end making sure that it's kind of in the middle we're not going to get any flappy bits on the outside um you know kind of hanging over and that kind of thing so try to get them all sort of in the middle and balance them around and that's basically it say something funny is it well i was just thinking to myself that last video you cut the chicken breast into the shape of a vagine and this video you're talking about flappy bits <laughs> <laughs> 
little unsure at what message you're trying to get across. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking goon. <clears throat> I can't get your whole rod in the picture, so I've just got it halfway. Well, it's a problem that I often have. Okay, so in we go. I'll just slide that in there. Bang that on there. Switch it on and we're away. So I've mixed up a little seasoned lemony oil and made myself a lovely Greek basting brush. And what we wanna do is just that a little. Let's crack on with it. Why am I struggling to say it? Because it's hard for your people to say that word. Shut up. Let's crack on with the tzatziki. Okay, some fresh dill. Just bunch that up. Stalks and all, stalks are great, no problem. Just make sure you get it nice and fine. Need about a, need about a third of a peeled uh, grated cucumber. I'll just pop that into a uh, chucks cloth and what we need to do is just grab that like that and essentially twist and squeeze you can see there squeezing all of that liquid out and we need to squeeze that out so that it doesn't thin uh, out the tzatziki sauce beautiful and then once you drain the water you're left with basically this awesome Okay, so into our tzatziki, we go a little pinch of salt, some freshly ground black pepper, one clove of garlic, the juice of half a lemon, about a tablespoon of dill yeah, about that much and our strained cucumber and we mix give that a little taste Perfection. Beautiful. Okay, we're 45 minutes to an hour in, give or take, um, and we're ready to slice, so let's have a look. And that looks outstanding. So we'll just lean over and switch this, excuse me, camera one, just switch this off. And then we'll just slice down. Doesn't look bad, does it? It's great. Little bit there. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, how good is that? Did you have some? Yeah. Oh, man. That's so juicy. Oh. We'll just get our brush out and give it a little baste again. Okay, so we're another half an hour, about a half an hour, uh, and we're ready to slice it again. So we'll just get into that. That looks epic. Those rich and tender. Looks great, doesn't it? It's really good. Get out of the way, Mr. Onion Paper. Oh, you can see the juice running down. Look at that. That's amazing. Beautiful. Good enough off. There we go. Great. Oh, look at, look at, look at the. Juice, oh my lord, that is so good. Right. Okay, we're all done. We're gonna get this off now, uh, get it inside and plate up. And it's going to be amazing. Okay, let's plate this up. We're gonna make a nice platter, check this out. Thanks for watching guys, I uh, really appreciate it. We'd love you to like and subscribe and um, we'll see you on the next one. What are we cooking next? I reckon it's time for a tomahawk. Pumpkin soup. <laughs> Pumpkin soup. <laughs> I think it's time for tomahawk. If you want tomahawk, tomahawk, we want tomahawk. Comment down below, like and tell Yazo that it's okay for us to have some meat. Goodness sake, I need steak. Bye guys.